Okay, this is dirty, and Attorney General Merrick Garland knows it. And he's either putting his head in the sand or he's up to his eyeballs involved. Either one is lousy. First, a few words from the Attorney General. Ed Levy is my model uh, for the Attorney General. His role was to be sure that uh, uh, justice was um, uh, meted out fairly and impartially without um, any uh, 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 special favors for anyone. This is the definition, in my view, of the rule of law. To make a point, I want to highlight the part where the Attorney General says, justice is to be made out fairly. I take that to mean the Attorney General means no funny business from his prosecutors and that his Department of Justice will play it straight, no games. The Department of Justice is supposed to keep our country safe, protect civil rights, and uphold the rule of law. They should never be trying to score points politically or do things to win at all costs or to cut corners on fairness simply to put numbers down in their win column. This is important to all of us. And in connection with its duties, the Department of Justice secures indictments. But indictments themselves are just a piece of paper. They aren't even evidence. Their purpose is simply to put an accused on notice that the grand jury, after hearing only evidence from a prosecutor, believes the person committed a crime. That's all. They are just notices. I've seen lawyers stand before juries during trials, rip up indictments to make that point that indictments are not evidence, just notice of charges to the accused. But in recent time, Prosecutors have gotten dirty. They use indictments to go far beyond its purpose to simply give notice of charges. Some prosecutors slip in photos, completely unnecessary to notice of charges, for one person, for one purpose, to poison the public and the jury. At a trial, the defense has the opportunity to explain the pictures or cross-examine about them. Not so when the pictures are simply inserted into an indictment. And then, of course, the pictures are flooded across nationwide news, as the prosecutors know will happen. People see the wallpaper of pictures and form opinions. Since there's no legitimate need to include pictures in indictment, the only motive for including them is for the prosecutor to unfairly smear the accused and gain an advantage. The people seeing pictures put in the indictment by the prosecutor have no idea if the pictures are staged or items moved around to create a particular impression. Loading the indictment meant simply for notice with flashy content outside a trial, just not fair. It's dirty, and particularly dirty with high-profile defendants since it's a given the pictures will get a lot of attention. Here are two examples of high-profile defendants. First, former President Donald Trump. Check out these pictures from his indictment in South Florida. You've already seen these pictures when he was first indicted. Ask yourself, why did Special Counsel Jack Smith put them in the indictment? Certainly not to give Trump notice of the charges. Trump could just read the indictment. You know why Smith did it, to gain a tactical advantage. Everyone seeing the boxes in the pictures thinks, wow, look at all those boxes. That looks horrible. He must be guilty. Trump can't respond until trial. It would have been enough for special counsel Smith to just use words of the facts alleged in the charges to put Trump on notice. But he didn't do that for a reason and not a clean one. And it isn't just Trump getting this dirty treatment. The Department of Justice intentionally did the same thing to now indict Democratic Senator Robert Menendez. They really souped up his indictment with pictures. The pictures have nothing to do with notice, the purpose of the indictment of the charges. The pictures have not been challenged as to whether they mean anything, whether they're staged or more, but the world has now seen them. Check out this one, a picture of a Mercedes Benz. Now, why is that picture in this indictment? Why didn't the prosecutor simply use the written words Mercedes Benz? because that would not poison you. A picture of a shiny Mercedes is much more salacious. It sticks in your head, leaving that extra impression and not a positive one. It helps the Department of Justice poison you and make you forget the constitutional right of presumption of innocence. And of course, to really finish off anyone even remotely considering giving the senator a presumption of innocence, the DOJ put this inflammatory picture in the indictment, two gold bars. I don't know why the senator has them, I admit, it does look bad, but why did the prosecutor put that in the indictment? Is it for fairness or to try and poison all of us against waiting for the evidence at trial? You know the answer. The egging on with the unnecessary pictures prevents the senator from getting that fair shake mandated by the Constitution. I don't know if Trump is guilty or Mendendez is guilty, but I do know this. They both need to be treated fairly, not by a dirty prosecution pulling tricks like this out of a trick bag and making picture books. Words are enough to give notice of charges. One final thing. 
A Department of Justice using dirty and sneaky tactics to poison a fair prosecution can be as destructive to a democracy as people storming a building. It's just not as loud. I'm Greta Van Susteren. This is The Record.